Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and I apologize for being late a little bit. We, we have the internet company which they came fast, surprisingly. And uh, supposedly they did some change in my connection. So let us hope that is going to be good. Um, and they just left. So uh, today our topic is uh, Mr. Insane or oh, Insane, sorry. Mr. Insane, uh, he have always a questions and nobody can answer those questions, we have to admit. I mean, last time he asked me a serious question, it was, show me where Jesus said he is a Christian. And you remember at that time, I could not answer. I mean, come on. I mean, how you can show him that Jesus says I am a Christian? It's impossible. So this, uh, you know, those are genius. As you see, always when we debate Muslims, we meet with very high intelligence creatures coming from different galaxies, you know, when they ask their questions. I don't know, they are like above a human race, like they are genius, very smart. And today, the question is very smart too, and I think all of you, you will be impressed how much history this guy, he, he, uh, he studies. So let us listen to Mr. Insane, uh, and this is the title of his video. Uh, Christian Prince posing... Yeah, I do pause always, so I take pictures. I don't even take pictures of myself. Terenita, 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 okay. Jesus, Tidak, Perna, Tahu, Kitab, Susi. I like Susi. I like, you know, Sushi is my favorite, okay. Uh, Orange, uh, Christian, okay, no problem. So, Mr. Uh, uh, Insane, he have uh, something to say to you Christians. And let us see how many of you will leave Christianity after he gives you this amazing information. Uh, go ahead, uh, Sushi. I mean, insane. Christian Prince, have you any idea no. that Jesus actually never knew the existence of the New Testament, which consists of 27 parts from Matthew to Revelation? We don't know that. I'm just, I'm shocked. Guys, do you do you know that Jesus never know? Jesus never know. No, he did not, and he will prove it to you with evidence. Okay, uh, tell us more. Uh, let's go back a little bit because this was very. I mean, my head is hurting me already. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is really shocking. Okay. And I'm so glad you did not say to me the normal why, why, you know, like the, that why is killing me. Just don't say it, say anything, say how, who, but don't use that why. Christian Prince, hmm. have you any idea that Jesus actually never knew no. the existence of the New Testament, which consists of 27 parts from hmm. Matthew? To Revelation? We don't know. It might not be only you, but there are a lot of Christians do not know that uh, Jesus didn't know the existence. My friend, that is make it to make it. If Jesus he did not know, how the Christian would know? Like, come on, man. So what's wrong with you? If Jesus himself, the one who said the words, he did not know what he said. Okay, go ahead. Of the books and even read it. How come? Jesus did not see the book, he did not read it. That's it, I mean, okay. I mean, you know, I don't know how smart you are, how stupid you are, you idiot. They are writing what Jesus said. And you are saying Jesus did not know what they, what the book. They are writing what he said. Hello? Hello? So you, you went away, you took a massage, you went to a vacation overseas, and then you have your comp company with you who, who make you coffee, a servant, and you are living a luxury life, sitting in the front of the lake, drinking your coffee, to come this to, to me, to say to me, Jesus did not read the Bible. You idiot, this is his words. They are writing his words. Are you, are you stupid or what? If they are writing his words, what do you mean he did not read the Bible? This is his words. He did not need to read it. He, he is the one who said those things. Did Muhammad read his words? 
Sahih al-Bukhari, written 300 years or 200 years after Muhammad. Muhammad never saw Sahih al-Bukhari. Ah, Muhammad never saw the Quran because the Quran you have today is not written by Muhammad and have nothing to do with Muhammad. I mean, look at this stupid logic. It's very embarrassing. What's wrong with those people? Right. Prove to me that Jesus is a Christian. And now prove to me that Jesus read the Bible. But you know, I'm learning from you. Honestly, you are, you are, a, uh, you are a walking, talking library. I pray to the shin of Allah to increase your age. You know. However, if you want to grow older, and you don't care about Allah. You learn karate as what happened to Moshe. You know Moshe, the Jewish guy. When uh, when the uh, when Allah he sent the, uh, his angel Israel. Israel is this guy is in charge of like the funeral, you know, for Allah. So when Allah he sent uh, uh, Israel, brother. Oh, this is not the one. Hold on. Moshe, he did box. You know, did box the angel, and he did hit him in his eye. And then Allah, he increased his age because the angel of death, he, he cannot take Moshe to, to, to die. You cannot, you cannot force him. That's it. Moshe, he insists he will live longer because at that time, Moshe, he was dating a girl. Her name is Moshina. And, uh, you know, uh, he's a, she's a Muslim girl too, by the way. She wore hijab. Yeah. And uh, because he was short in wives, he did not complete the four yet. He had three at the time. So he wanted to finish the job and get married from this fourth one. Uh, and then he can go and die. I mean, he want to do some boom, boom before he die. So when the angel of death, he came to him, look what it says. Uh, Abu Huraira said, Allah Messenger said, that the angel of death came to Moshe and said, Respond to the call of Allah. Uh, you know, uh, supposedly, usually, when the angel of death, he come, he come with some, like, uh, terror music and etc., like something very fancy, you know. Like, you know, something. Moshe, respond to the call of Allah. Prepared. Eat some ice cream. Because this is the last ice cream you will eat. And here, suddenly the music stopped. And Moshe, by the way, he was asleep, you know, it was a long day. Moshe, he woke up by the call of the angel of Allah, saying to him, prepare for death. And you know, Moshe, he did not waste any time. He had his golf uh, 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 stick and he hit him with it. Again, and again, and again, 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 and the angel, his eye came out. And this is why angels, they have a very, very special job for Allah, because it is not an easy job. By the way, uh, the, the golf did not say that in the hadith because the Muslim, they will say now, see, Christian Prince is corrupt in the hadith. He said golf stick. At that time, there's no golf stick. Ha ha, he's lying. Hello? Hello? No, actually, it's not the golf stick. You are right. He gave him a blow in the eye. Obviously, he used his hand. You know, Moshe, he played karate. Like, he, ha, ha. Actually, he looked like Chinese. Honestly, last time I saw Moshe, Moshe, I said, oh, so you, you look like Chinese, man. He said, yes, I'm from Asia. <laughs> So, you know, you are the expert, man. You are the expert. So, we want you really to live long so you can give us more wisdom and more Muslims will leave Islam with your stupidity. 
Uh, tell us more. It's because all those books from Matthew to Revelation were written long after Jesus died. Oh, see the logic? Jesus did not read those books because all those books were written long after Jesus died. Now we knew why. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I, know, I, I want to go to Indonesia, by the way. I, I don't want to visit the museum of Indonesia. I'm sure the museum is full of beautiful stuff. And I like and I love Indonesian people. But I want to visit the museum of this guy because this guy, he is coming from the museum. I don't know which museum. Museum of Allah, maybe. But you are really an antique. I mean, those ideas, how... Genius, man. Genius. Hmm. I'm not going, you know, so I play the whole video. I mean, this city is stupid. Eh, let us play it. So they will not say he did not let him talk. And by the way, why you don't post when you respond to me? Why you don't post my respond? You see, I play your video in my channel. Do you dare to play my video in your channel? You don't. Play it all. Don't cut it off pieces, as Muslims they do. Like there's a guy, he's supposed to he when I discredit me. How he discredit me? He said, I was saying to a Muslim woman, Sakal me. I was reading the hadith, you idiot. Christian prince, successful predator. He said to a Muslim sister, Sakal me. Your Muslim sister, she is a very bad woman. She was saying Jesus was playing with his mother. See how filthy she is? Yet the Muslim, they cut the video and they edit him. And this Christian prince, look what he is saying. Very, very trashy, very trashy, no dignity. So, I challenge you to play my videos in your channel if you are really sure from your response so people can laugh either at you or at me. Equal opportunity, you know? Okay. The proof is when Jesus was still alive, he used the Old Testament to teach as <clears throat> written in Luke chapter number 4, verse number uh, mm -hmm. So, I, guys... When Jesus was alive, and the guy, he just keeps saying Jesus was alive. That means he is confirming that the Quran is a book of lies because the Quran confirmed that Jesus never died. Do you see? He keeps saying after Jesus' death. He keeps saying when Jesus was alive, which means he is agreeing that Muhammad is a fraud. Secondly, now, the proof that Jesus did not read those books because at his time when he was alive, he was reading the book of Isaiah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't get married, man. And if you get if you are married, get divorced immediately. Because something might happen to you from your wives. I don't know what they will do to you when you speak your wisdom in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. You can speak it anywhere. Be sure it's close to the bathroom. You idiot. So if I quote what is written in a book which is, I am the one who sent the book anyway, because all the messengers are the messengers of the Messiah. So if the Messiah was reading for the Jews from the book of Isaiah, that's mean Jesus, he don't have a book, and he. this is why he is reading from Isaiah. Yeah, that makes sense. And Jesus did not read the book, which is his book, because supposedly uh, this is a book written after. So in his time, Jesus had no opportunity except reading Isaiah, right? You are stupid, you idiot. You are an idiot. You know, some people, they say to me, why you use the word stupid and idiot? It's not nice. I mean, okay, give me the front description. I will not use idiot. Huh? This guy, he remind me of a uh, uh, detective, the Pink Panther. So, uh, you know. Your, your prophet was quoting supposedly what the Christians said in their Bible. Does that mean that uh, the Quran was not exist in the time of Muhammad? Huh? When your prophet said that Jesus said, there is a prophet who will come after me, his name is Ahmad. Is that something in the book of Jesus or in your book? This is from the book of Jesus. He is just quoting because he just said, Jesus said or Isa said, a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmad. So based on your logic, stupid logic, Muhammad obviously have no Quran too, because he was quoting what Jesus said. Stupidity. Continue. 16 to 20. Hmm. 
Jesus went back to Nazareth mm. where he had been brought up and as usual mm. he went to the meeting place on the Sabbath and when he stood up to read from the scriptures mm. he was given the book of Isaiah mm. the prophet mm. he opened it and read the Lord's Spirit has come to me because he has chosen me to tell the good news to the poor the Lord has sent me uh, to announce freedom from prisoner to give sight to the blind to free everyone who suffers and to say this is the year Lord has chosen Jesus closed the book then handed it back to the man in charge and sat down everyone in the meeting place looked straight at Jesus according to the Bible of Abandon Life published published by Gandomas out of Golden Week Gandomas how are you Gandomas uh, according to Gandomas listen let me hold on hold on why you quote to those to the Muslims that those verses and you did not read what is after is that because you are afraid to see and to show that Jesus in the Bible is God why you are why you stop there if you go in the Bible and he was quoting for us supposedly from the Bible right okay this is why when a Muslim he quote for you anything, don't take what he say, not even the translation, not even the words. Some of them, they are very, you know, they, they, they miss the, the honesty, uh, the same as, you know, I mean, they are far from honesty when they quote something. But, you know, I will say that this guy is an old guy. He will not try to play this game, maybe. But he play a different game. Why you quote for us? what is written and you don't read for us I mean why you choose only a line why you don't show the people that Jesus he spoke he read the, the book of Isaiah Jesus he quote from the book of Isaiah it's okay no problem and even that phrase which he read which is amazing because they are the one who gave him that book to read he told them he just told them I am the one you are waiting for I am the one who you you know you are waiting for. So if we go and read in the Bible, uh, we will find in verse number eighteen, as an example. And he came to Nazareth, and you know here he in the in the synagogue in the, the for the Jews he. Uh, open the scroll you know he read for them the spirit of the Lord is upon me here this is a big problem for Islam because proving that Muhammad is a fraud for according to Muhammad Allah that their God is not a spirit the God of the Jews from the book of Genesis if you go right away from the beginning of the of the Bible actually in the Torah uh, uh, you will find that God is a spirit in many uh, all over the, the Torah so here you will see that the, the spirit here you will see that the messiah is the anointed here you will see that jesus is going to bring liberty to the slaves jesus is going to give a uh, 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 vision or a uh, sight to the to the blind uh, he will liberate the, the oppressed one and he is you know uh, uh, he is the one they are waiting for him in this time and then if we go down a little bit we will see that the messiah he went out and he cast out demon. Demon is not a genie. Some Christians, they think that the Muslim, they believe in demon. Muslim, they don't have demon. Uh, they, they might have it, I mean, like somebody, he might be possessed with it. But they don't believe in demon. They believe in something called genie. And genie is totally different from demon. Demon is an evil spirit. 
genie is a creature he can have sex he have kids uh, uh, he sleep with muslim women uh, there's a female genie sleep with muslim men so the a genie is a fiction a fiction idea coming from uh, all the way from persia and india uh, this is why you see that the story of genies exists in those cultures long before us now so here you will see that the messiah is casting out the demon of uh, 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 of somebody and then the demon they say to jesus uh, they he cried out with loud voice saying what have you uh, uh, to do with us what, what 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 we have to do with you jesus of nazareth have you come to destroy us i know who you are the holy one of god why mr oh no let me say it in the way he said it to us why christian friends why why you did not read for them what is written after and you are the one who challenged before to show you that jesus is god right so here not only the christian witness that jesus is the holy one of god even demon they witness and they knew him And then when he cast the demon out of of, uh, 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 of this person, the Jews, they start saying, uh, you know, who is this one who have command to cast out any clean spirit? Who is this one who have such an authority? Because this is authority of God only, right? So when you quote for us from the Bible, be honest at least for a second and show us and explain to the Muslims why Jesus, he did even read those verses. Why only those verses are from the book of Isaiah? But you are just a potato trying to prove something from nothing by saying Jesus, he was reading the Torah. And okay, if he read the Torah, that's mean he, he have no book at his time. Just to show you how stupid your idea. You are saying that Jesus, before he go and teach, he should write the book first. And then he stand in the crowd and he open page number 14. Okay, guys, today I'm going to read for you from my book, page number 14. Okay, page number 14. The gospel is about the life of Jesus, you idiot. Not only about Jesus talking, it's about Jesus doing. So the gospels are books describing the life of jesus what he accomplished what he said and what he did so how in the world you want jesus to read his book that's mean jesus before he come he should write the book first word by word and then he have to say what is written in the book word by word that can happen only in a stupid cult like Islam, because in Islam, Muhammad supposedly he was not saying any word. It was Allah. Allah, he wrote a tablet. If we go in the hadith, we will find this. <clears throat> Actually, why want to go in the hadith? Let us go to the Quran first. Have you ever heard of a God? He need to write a book for himself. And then he sent that what is written in the book to his prophet. Huh, that's the garbage of Muhammad. Okay. Chapter 85, verse number 22. Uh... This is, will go all the way to the end of the page. Nay, this is the glorious Quran inscribed in the tablet was preserved. Why God he have a tablet, man? Why God he need a tablet for himself? And do you guys know where Allah, he put his tablet? Look, guys, by the way, good news. Look like those guys, they fixed the internet. I'm looking at the speed now. It's really very good compared to before. Wonderful. Glory to the Lord. You know, because they scared me. They said they will change the whole cable. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but now it looks like it's working. So, uh, uh, wonderful. 
Like, look like this uh, the, this problem is is gone so Allah he wrote a tablet and Allah he preserved the tablet anyone knows where Allah preserved the tablet help me help me as you know I do not know much about Islam so I need help where Allah he preserved the tablet yes like iPad you know exactly did I say exactly I didn't I should not say it this way the theater I'll kick with him do Allah have a tablet and I say it or theater I confirm to you that Allah have a tablet exactly Exactly, Tether. Uh, brother, why Allah have a tablet? He have a short memory. First of all, a question like this is coming from for, for the Kafir. Because Kafar, the question Allah and ability. And I guarantee you, it's coming from a guy named Christian Prince. And by the way, I say to Christian Prince, if you're listening, show me your faith. Show me your faith. Why Allah have a tablet? Anyone did answer me? Between the angel eyes, thank you, Lay. Allah, He put the tablet between the angel eyes of Israfil. An angel, his name is Israfil. Muhammad is copying names from the Jews. He don't know what they mean. What Israfil mean? Any Muslim can't mean what Israfil, Israfil what Azrael mean, what Mikael mean. He doesn't know. It's a thief. Between the eyes of the angel, this Rafil. Let me see if I can find you something in English explaining that point. Hmm. Actually, maybe we can go to Ibn Kathir in English and we find that. Hold on. Because it is existing Ibn Kathir in Arabic. So, it should come in Ibn Kathir in English. But you know, sometimes they hide the stuff. <clears throat> All right, chapter 85, verse number 22, Ibn Kathir. I will put it on the screen. Give me a second. Uh, see, they took it off from Ibn Kathir in English. I cannot find it in English. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Just to show you guys how the how, why you cannot trust Muslim translation. This is. This is Ibn Kathir in English. For the same verse, the same chapter. And here I will put for you Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let's zoom in. Here we go. In Ibn Kathir in Arabic it says, uh, and this is volume. Let us give you the page number, so you, you know. Uh, this is this is here in Surah Al Buruj. Al Buruj, the same chapter we showed you, as you see, chapter eighty-five, Al Buruj. Okay. Page number from verse number eleven to verse number twenty-two. Page number three hundred fourteen. It says, "Inna lauha al mahfuz, al-ladi dhakar Allah." بل هو القرآن المجيد في لوح المحفوظ في جبهة إسرافيل. Let me highlight so people they can read with me. And here you ask yourself, okay, why Ibn Kathir in English is almost, you know, like maybe 80% of the size of Ibn Kathir in Arabic is gone when it goes to English because they are hiding stupid stuff from you. So, in اللوح المحفوظ here, the one which Allah he has mentioned, في جبهة إسرافيل in the forehead of Israel إسرافيل ابن حاتم he said from 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 okay that اللوح المحفوظ is between the eyes of the angel إسرافيل and it's not allowed for him to look at it so Allah he have his book in a preserved tablet 
and he put the tablet between the eyes of the angel now I want to explain to you here the wisdom of Allah because Allah is all wise as you know uh, if you think about it this is extremely wise decision of Allah I mean if I give any of you let us say a password for my bank account huh? and I don't want you to read it even by mistake so what I will do because I am a genius and my name is Allah and it's not easy to be Allah by the way I mean you never tried to be Allah before so you don't know what I'm talking about so let us say this is the angel Israfil And his eyes, by the way, are big, huge, you know. And here is his teeth. Those are the lower teeth. Allah, he want to put the Quran in a place where Israfil he cannot see. So where he thought about it if I put it in his nose still he can see it if I put it in his uh, you know I mean uh, uh, you know so he said okay where it is impossible for the eyes to zoom in where 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 Allah he because he's genius you know he said bingo I found where I will put it here between his eyes and this is why Israfil, after some time, he had the cross eyes because he was trying to read. And so he zoomed his eyes like going in, 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 in. And then by the time he get a, a cross eyes, you know. Uh, and, and this is very logical. Very logical. You know? And by the way, this drawing is copyrighted and you cannot uh, print it or sell it for any purpose unless for Corona. So Allah, because he's a stupid God, he wrote in advance what he will say to Muhammad. And then he sent it down to Muhammad. But look how we can prove that this is a fraud. Anyone knows how we can prove it's fraud? I mean, not just because the idea is stupid of this. Uh, uh, I mean, the story that it's written before. I will tell you why. You will notice that Muhammad, during his life, he was receiving verses about his private part. As an example, Allah, he made verses from Muhammad saying, any believing woman, she would like to open her legs for you. She is more than welcome. Now, is that written in the preserved tablet? That's mean everything Muhammad did and he said it was by Allah command. Which means even when Muhammad he got horny, he went to the house of his own son, wife, and he flirted with her. It was Allah who made him get horny when he see her. It was not really Muhammad. And this is written in the book of Allah. And in the top of that, as an example, if you remember, uh, when, when right away Muslim women, they start offering themselves to sleep with Muhammad because this is a golden opportunity. Sleep with him once, get free money for forever until you die insurance you know this guy is became filthy rich he is kidnapping stealing you know it's like uh, like isis leader in, in his time when muhammad is start receiving women who they are not good looking excuse me women and i don't want to, to offend you but uh, i'm not good looking too hello and i am a man hello so what so this is not fair at least i will have like, like uh, you know uh, opportunity to be uh, equal uh, you know like somebody with me and I'm not the only one is not good looking in the world so here it says when Muhammad start receiving women offering themselves to sleep with him Muhammad he also like oh boy look at this woman oh man she's scared the hell of me I'm not going to sleep with this woman oh man this one she is in the age of my grandma oh man oh what is that what is this oh, no, no 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 so Muhammad right away he received a verse from Allah saying oh mommy oh I mean Mimi Oh, me, 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 blue. Just give them a blue. So you may differ of those who offer themselves to you. What does that mean? 
women who Muhammad don't like to sleep with in the moment, Allah told him, okay, Muhammad, you, me, choose from those women the one you like, and you sleep with her, and the one you don't like, you can pause or let her postpone, postpone, here we go, the word, you can postpone, I like this word, postpone, Muhammad postponed, women, hey, you women, you are postponed, okay, and I try next year, uh, for now, I have, uh, you know, the, the, it's sorry, I, I cannot take you right now, so, obviously, this is a verse cannot be written in the tablet, why? Because this is about an incident happening in the moment, and a Muslim might say to you, well, hold on, Allah, he knew the future, right? Now, we can prove that Allah do not know the future. If you remember in the chapter of Al-Anfal, verse number 65, where it says Allah, like uh, uh, 100 of you can fight, uh, uh, you know, a thousand, and then they went and they lost the war, and then Allah, he changed the verse after it from verse from 1 to one uh, to 10 to, to 1 to 2, which means to win against 1 to 2. Uh, here, and remember, the Quran says too that the angels take them 1,000 years just one direction. Which means to go from heaven. They need 1,000 years to go. And 1,000 years to come. Chapter 35 Sorry, chapter 32, verse number 5. He rules all affairs from heaven to earth. In the end of all affairs, go to him. In a day, which is equal to 1,000 years of your time. So, in order for us to receive an order from Allah, that order should be written at least a 1,000 years ago, because the one who delivered the, the, the message is the angels, and the angels take them, 1,000 year to come down to earth. If you don't believe me, we can go to Ibn Kathir, check it out, chapter 32, verse number 5. Let us see. Is it going to say that in English, Ibn Kathir? <clears throat> okay. All right. See here it says, He direct his command from the heaven to earth. Then it will go up to him, means he command down from above, the heaven and the earth for, and it take one day for us, one, one day for him is 1,000 of your time. If you go down here, there's more interpretation or explanation for this. It says here, how Allah he command and how supposedly he practice his authority so it take for Allah 1000 year to practice the authority on earth or one day for Allah is 1000 year for us so if the angel he went up to uh, to Muhammad uh, let us say today in order for the angels to deliver the second message to Muhammad especially this message was not it was an urgent message like something just happened right now the angel he need to go back to Allah another thousand years. One thousand years to go, one thousand years to come back. All right. We go back. So as you see, all the Quran is a stupid idea. Most of them they are very confused. They think Christianity is a stupid belief, the same as Islam. That Jesus should be having the book in his hand, and he should be reading from his book which is very stupid to say, because uh, uh, the book is supposed to be sent to the people, not to Jesus. Jesus do not need, Jesus was quoting for them what he, you know, the Lord, he sent his prophet to mention about him. So when he is quoting, he is quoting what he mentioned to them before. And this is because it is from before, already it's written in a book from before. But in the moment, Jesus, he is in the prison. So why Jesus will be, give them a book? He is with them. It's like saying, I came to your house and then you ask me, how are you? I don't answer. I just write the word, I'm fine. 
You know what I mean? If you are visiting me in my house and I ask you, how are you? According to Mr. Insane, you should not say, I'm fine. You should write a book, say, I am fine. And uh, please hold on. I forgot where I wrote the word I am fine in the book. Let me check the, the, the index and see the page. Which page? That is hilarious, my friend. You are very funny and very stupid. Sorry to say. Continue, please. Paul's letter was first written in AD 49 to 67. Gospel according to Mark until John were written in AD 55 to 85. So. And Revelation was last written in uh, 96, <laughs> while Jesus died in AD 29. It means it is about 20 until uh, 69 years after Jesus died, the mm. New Testament was written. Mm. Impossible. Impossible. Okay, first of all, I mean, I don't know where you get your numbers from, but uh, it's not too much mistaken, but there is a few years mistaken in the numbers. However, this is not really important. As long as they are disciples of Jesus, and they are saying what Jesus said, so what the problem? And why they should, why Jesus should write a book in his time? And Jesus, he said, the sky and the earth and the heaven will be destroyed, but my words will not. So they are preserved already. And why we don't ask the same question about your prophet? The Quran and the Hadith was you the one you have is not written by Muhammad. So if you should if you we should not accept what they wrote that Jesus said after as you said his death, I say after his resurrection, uh, then we should not accept the Quran too because the Quran and the Hadith they were not written in the time of Muhammad. Secondly, when Muhammad he died and then the Caliphate came there is many Qur'ans, obviously, and Uthman, he burned all of them, and he made his own fabricated Qur'an. In the top of that, you don't have the Qur'an of Uthman. The book you have right now, if you open page number A, there's a page that's called A in Arabic, if you have Arabic Qur'an. Anyone in Indonesia, if you have Arabic Qur'an from Saudi Arabia, there's a page, it's called A. It says that this Quran is written according to, 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 come tomorrow, according to, according to, according to, according to Muhammad, according to Jibreel, according to Allah. And the last name appear in the list, his name is Hafs. And Hafs accused by Muslim to be a fraud and a liar and a thief. So Hafs is a person who exists more than 200 years after Muhammad. So look what this guy he just did. He said we cannot accept the gospel for it is written uh, 65 years, 62 years, uh, 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 85 years uh, uh, after the, you know, like uh, 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 supposedly Jesus died in AD 29. So a book written 40 or 50 years after Jesus is not accepted. But you accept the Quran you have today, which is written more than 200 years. And by the way, we don't have even the Quran of Hafs. We have recitation of Hafs, which means somebody claim that this is how Hafs recite the Quran. They don't even have a book written by Hafs of the Quran. So 200 years pass, still we don't have the Quran. 300 years pass, we don't have the Quran. And then all the religion is in the Hadith, not in the Quran. And the Hadith written by... Bukhari and Muslim and they are the same hundreds of years after your prophet so we should not accept the Quran of the Muslims we should not accept the Hadith of the Muslims for all of them they are written way behind of Muhammad so look at the stupid logic and that and, and here you see the hypocrisy if 
a book written 55 years AD. That's mean only 30 years after Jesus uh, uh, was crucified. He don't accept it. If a book written 30 to 40 years after Jesus was crucified, he don't accept it. That's it. But a book written hundreds of years after Muhammad, he accepted. Now, what about we ask you, a Quran who came supposed to be 600 years after Jesus? Speaking about Jesus, you accept it. Because we need to ask you too, where is the book of Jesus? You see, if we go in the Quran, from the first page of the Quran, you will find the first pages, few pages, chapter 3, verse number 3, it says, It is he who sent the Torah and the one who sent the gospel to you. Who? Allah. Okay, what is the Torah and the gospel? Just to show you how stupid you are. Because if Allah, he gave Jesus Torah, sorry, he gave him the gospel, then the book of Mark and the book of John and the book of uh, the, the, the disciples should not be required for simply, he gave them what Allah gave him. Where is the book? The Muslim, they say, Allah knows best. So this is the false accusation of Muslim. When, this, when we ask them, okay, where is the book which was given to Jesus so he can give it to us? They say, no, we do not know. And that means their God, Allah, is a potato. Because if Allah, he wrote a book, don't you knew that the book should need to be preserved? How come Allah, he wrote the Quran and he put it between the two eyes of the, of the angel? How come he will not put that in Jeer, which is his book too, between the eyes of the angels to preserve it? You see the stupidity? And now we don't have the Bible of Allah and we don't have the Quran of Allah and we don't have the Torah of Allah. Actually, according to the Muhammadan, Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger and all of them, their books is gone. All of them. Imagine Allah, he is a librarian and we give him a charge to be in charge of uh, uh, of a library and we gave him 124,000 book and we gave him the key and then we come back after a, a thousand year we say Allah how many books you have right now he says oh only one even that one they don't have it what is the Quran do you have the Quran of Muhammad you don't so based on your stupidity Muhammad himself did not read the Quran and this means Islam does not exist hmm? Pick up. There's a Muslim trying to call me. Oh, okay. All right. We have a Muslim trying to call me. Maybe. <clears throat> Look like he's excited. What his name? <laughs> I like it when Muhammad and get excited. To be honest with you. <laughs> Very fantastical. But uh, hold on, actually, I want I want to finish this video. G give me just a, f a few minutes, and I will I will take your call, Mr. Abdul. May Allah bless your all the Abdul in the world. Let us continue with this guy, so we can love more. O almost his video is over. Mark <laughs> until John were written in AD fifty five to. 85 and Revelation was last written in uh, 96 while Jesus died in AD 29 it means it is about 20 until uh, 69 years after Jesus died the New Testament was written see guys be my witness if it 20 years after Jesus, the, the, the book is written, th this should not be accepted. But for them to have the recitation of Hafs, which is 200 years after Muhammad, it's okay. And yet they don't have the book of Hafs. They have only recitation. They claim that somebody, the same as Al-Bukhari, by the way. Do you know that Al-Bukhari book doesn't exist? Do you know that? There's no book written by Al-Bukhari. Nobody have it. 
But yet they say to you, according to Al-Bukhari, so what they have, they claim that students of Al-Bukhari, they say, they heard Al-Bukhari saying this. Have, can you believe it? It's not even their prophet, it's Al-Bukhari saying this. So 200 years, 300 years after Muhammad is okay for the Muhammadan, 20 years after Jesus is a problem. Hmm. Okay. Impossible. Impossible. Isn't it? Isn't it, yeah? <laughs> Therefore, the New Testament wasn't revelation for Jesus. Jesus never wrote the Gospels. <laughs> Those who wrote it mostly were not Jesus' disciples. Really? How come? That's why in the old you just say it, you just say it, 20 years after, how they are not his disciples. What are you talking about? All print of the gospel was written, mm. gospel according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke, mm. and according to John. Mm. And, and your Quran written according to Hafs, according to Asim, according... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Your prophet, he says, take the Quran from four, and you did not take it from the four. Even your prophet, he said, take the Quran according to you, idiot. Let me show you the hadith. Uh, where is the hadith? Hmm. Abdullah al Mas'ud mentioned before, etc., 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 that the prophet, he said, Huzul Quran an Arba'a, take the Quran from four. So you are saying to me, if there is according to, this should be rejected. But you're a prophet, he based his Quran in according to. What he say, take the Quran. Uh, where is the Hadith? Look at this corruption, guys. It says here, learn the recitation of the Quran. He did not say learn the recitation. He said, take the Quran. Take the Quran. Here we go in Arabic. It says, Khudu. Khudu al Quran min Arba. Then he quote Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Wa Salim, Mawla ibn Abi Hudayfa. Wa Ma'az ibn Jabal. Wa Abi ibn Ka'b. Okay. Muhammad obviously here trying to copy the disciple of Jesus. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why Muhammad, he said, take it from four. And according to this idiot, if there is four who wrote a book, this is according to John, according to Luke, according to Mark, according, so this according, obviously, it says that this is not Jesus. Okay, but the Quran is written according to, according to, according to, and actually, as I said, in the Quran today, you don't have, according to those four, you have more than nine to twelve names. There's many generations between Hafs. As I said, Hafs is more about 200 years after Muhammad. So we go back according to, 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 until we arrive according to, to uh, Ma'az ibn Jabal, and then according to Uthman, and then according to, to Muhammad, and according to Jibreel, and then according to Allah. So all your religion is about according to. This is what you have for us. And all of us, we as a Christians, we knew, and you are not bringing us a secret, when you say the Bible according to John. Because John is telling his story with the Messiah and what story he did. So, which means, what, 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 what he happened in his time. Which means, in the, in the Gospel, we don't have just Jesus talking. We have the disciple talking. We have people talking to Jesus. We have Jesus answering them. So, this is not a pre-written book, you idiot. For it is reporting a real event time as history, as a conversation, as an action. So Jesus did this. John, he says, we saw Jesus doing this. Jesus, he did walk in the water. Jesus, he healed the blind. 
Jesus, this is this is not Jesus will say, uh, uh, I, I, in the day of etc. I heal the blind. For Jesus said clearly that people will, will witness for my miracle, will witness for what I do. And this is why a miracle happened for people to witness, not because he need to witness to himself. Ah, I forgot you are a, uh, you are a follower of a God who witnessed to himself. Have you ever heard of a God he witnessed to himself? And he takes shahada. Please invite everybody. Allahu Akbar. Allah will take shahada and will convert to Islam. I never heard of such a stupid statement like this before. Chapter 3, verse number 18. There is no God but Allah, and that is the witness of, uh, of Allah. But by the way, this is a false translation. Translation should be, Allah he witnessed. Let us change the translator just to show you how, how they lie. I mean, they, they flip the sentence upside down. I can't believe it. How, 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 you know, garbage. What you can say? No dignity. I mean, you are translating your God words. Be, be honest for a second. Here we go. You see how the translation changed? Allah be your witness that da ilaha illallah la ha what is that Okay Allah he bear witness to who When I do do say such a thing it's mean I believe in a higher authority than me Allah he was witness saying shahada to who Right And yes, the Quran they have today you have nothing to do with all those names we mentioned. Anyway, tell us more, uh, Mr. Uh, you know, so we can take Muslim calls. Okay. And all the letters sent by Paul was in gospel. Mm. They were just part of letters sent by Paul. You stupid idiot. Even us, we call it letters. What, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? We put it, you know, we, you see that the stupidity, guys, the stupidity of those people who speak, they have big mouth. When we say this is the letter of Paul, we are not saying this is the letter of God. You are a donkey. So, the book, the books, we have books which is reporting what Jesus did, and we have books which reporting what the disciple did. They send letters to each other, teaching each other, explaining to each other, it's a nice conversation between the, our, our, our church father and we learn from it. That's why they are part of our belief. For those are the earliest Christians. So it says there the letter of etc. person. So what's wrong with you? I mean, we are not saying this is the letter of God. We are saying this is the letter which is sent from this brother to this brother. You're stupid. And what do you want to tell me about Paul? Go ahead. Paul to his congregation, right? Mm -hmm. Some people mm. in some cities. Okay. In fact, Paul wasn't a disciple of Jesus. Stop. Stop. Okay. Well, you know, I will go with you. First of all, who is a disciple? A disciple, according to him, he will say that Paul he was not with Jesus, right? Okay, well, Muhammad was not with Jesus too. So how you Muslim you say that Jesus, he said in the in the in the Injil, he will send Muhammad and he is the Paraclete. According to you, in order to be disciple of Jesus, you have to present with Jesus at the time. Even if you are alive, but you did not see Jesus, it's not okay for him. But a person who is his name is Muhammad, who came six hundred years after Jesus, according to Muslim. When Jesus speak about the paraclete, which is a spirit, you know, and Muhammad is not a spirit, and he will stay with us forever, and Muhammad is dead, he is routing dead, and the Muslim, because they are desperate to find Muhammad in the gospel, say, that oh, this is the paraclete, is, it is about Muhammad. So look here, the hypocrisy and the double standard. Secondly, you idiot. If Jesus, he met with Paul, that make him disciple, according to you, right? But isn't this what the Bible says? That the Lord he appeared to, to, to Paul in the way to Damascus. So why you are saying Paul is not his disciple? Go ahead. At all. 
He was even a former criminal, a liar. Wait, where, where do you get this? Was, he was a liar. Where do you get this from? Where, where do you get that he was a for, a, a, for, you know, a criminal? The, the person he is a higher rank between the Roman. You made him a criminal. You know, yes, I can say like he's going after the Christian. This is a crime. But when you say a criminal, you are meaning what? Like he was a thief like Muhammad, a child molester like Muhammad. He go after women, kidnap them, rape them. No, that was your prophet. So shame on you. Secondly, just to show everybody that you are a certified donkey and you do not know your religion, not only you do not know ours. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, the book of Al-Bidayah and al nihaya volume number 2, page number 119. Click here. And we will show you that this idiot, he is a certified donkey like he's a prophet. In the book of Ibn Kathir, which is a Muslim book, one of the highest scholars for, the, for Muhammad, he said in his book, writing about the disciple of Jesus, that Isa, peace be upon him, before he'd been taken up, he told the Hawarin, Hawarin in, in Islam, it's the language they use to describe the disciple, to go and worship only one God. And he made each one of those, or he named to each one of them, a group of people to go and teach. One, he sent him to Asham and to the east. And some, they sent him to the, or the west. And then, in the morning, his disciples, they wake up, and all of them, he speak different language. Which is the language the Messiah will send the disciple to that territory. And if you remember this guy, this donkey, uh, uh, sorry to call you donkey, donkeys are smart uh, animals. Uh, he, you remember before he said Jesus was only sent to the Jews? Do you remember? So why those, why this man do not know that the Muslim books teach that Jesus, he sent his disciple to all the world, and not only that, they confirm the miracle that the disciple of Jesus, when Jesus ordered them to go and teach in different countries, according to the Islamic books, those disciples, they complained to Jesus. He said, well, how are we want to go to Rome? I don't speak Roman. How I'm going to go to India? I don't speak Indian. How I'm going to go to Morocco? I don't speak Morocco. So what I would do? So they went to sleep and they wake up and they found each one of them is speaking different language. I'm going to use Google translation to translate for you after finish the Arabic. And then he says, and he mentioned many of them, mentioned many of them, that there are four, Luke, Matthew, Morchos, which means Mark, and Johanna, which means John. All right? And here he says there's differences in, the, in, the, uh, in, in, in those books, you know, because this is a Muslim at the end of the day. But look what he said here about Paul. This is why I'm quoting for you this. وكان مما من من آمن بالمسيح وصدقه من أهل دمشق رجل يقول يقال له دينا. The Muslims always they quote the name correctly. It's not دينا. I mean they are Muslims they never quote the name correctly when it's come to Christianity. The same as their prophet. The Messiah became Isa. He is the nephew of Moses and then and the nephew of of Aaron and his mother is Maryam the sister of Aaron. Abraham. His father, one, once in the Quran says Ibrahim, once in the Quran he says uh, 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 Abraham. Uh, uh, Abraham, his father, his name is Azar. Mary, her father's name is Umran. Moses, his father's name is Umran. So the Quran have a history of a stupid misquotation of names and date. And here the same. So from those who believe in the Messiah from Damascus, a guy, his name is Dina, and he was hiding in a cave next to the east gate of Damascus close to the church it's called al musallaba which means the cross hiding afraid from Paul the Yahudi he is a Jew the Paul the Jew and Paul he was unjust and he was hateful to the Messiah and when he came to him uh, and Paul he was uh, 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 like he 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 made uh, uh, he he like he shaved the head of one of his nephews because he believed in the Messiah as a pun as a punishment, and then he made his nephew go around in the town, and then he stoned him to death, 
May Allah bless him. Even the Kathir is saying, may Allah bless him. Allah bless who? The one who believed in the Messiah and he was killed by Paul. Let us continue. And when the when Paul heard that the Messiah is going to Damascus, look at this donkey. Ibn Kathir saying that the Messiah, he went to Damascus. Okay. How this is happening? The Messiah, he went to Damascus. So the Muslims, they take a story from the Bible, they play with it, and they add some sugar and spice and salt, Thai food, Filipino food, Indonesian food, mix them together, and Arabian food, and then we have an, an amazing salad. So now suddenly, Jesus was physically in Damascus when this is before resurrection. So when he went to Damascus, uh, when 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 Paul he heard that the Messiah went to Damascus, he prepared his mule, mule, huh? and he went to kill the Messiah. And he found him and he met him in Kaukaba. Where Kaukaba? This is an area supposedly uh, for those who they are from Syria, they will know. I'm not sure where it is exactly. So he found him in that area in Kaukaba, close to Damascus. Actually, it's in Damascus, I think. And uh, and when he met with the disciple of the messiah an angel hit his face and he made him blind by the edge of his wing and when paul he saw that he believed in the messiah and he came to the messiah and he apologized from the messiah for what he did to the messiah and then the messiah accepted him and uh, gave him back his image وَسَأَلَهُ أَنْ يَمْسَحَ عَيْنَيْهِ لَيَرُدَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ بَصَرَهُ Do you see it? So, you stupid idiot, you are following which religion? I mean, what's wrong with those Muslims? They don't believe in our books, but they don't believe in their books too. I'm going to translate this page. Let me open it in Google browser so we can translate it. Give me a second. I mean, what we, what we would do with those Muhammadan? If you remember the, the stupid Mimi Hijab, when he have like, a, did you say that? Show me, you have 30 seconds to answer. I was reading for them from different book and they were answering me from other book because they are so nervous and so scared. That's why they could not debate me. You have 30 seconds to show us the proof. Eh, what 30 seconds? And I gave them the proof in less than 10 seconds. And I start reading for them from different book and they were preparing themselves to answer me about different book. So they start answering about the other book, but I'm not reading from there, you idiot. But because they are so nervous, they are so stupid. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. We will make a, a Google translation. Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya, Ibn Kathir, volume number two, page number 119. And this is Google translation. It says here in Korean, so we will switch to English. Give me a second. choose another language uh, where is the English 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 <clears throat> why there's no option to type it and you get it right away okay <clears throat> are they lined up by the alphabet they should be right Italiano. Okay. Here we go. This is the beginning and the end of Ibn Kathir, part number two, page number 119, as we said to you. <clears throat> and we go here. Here you see how they change their tongue and they speak languages. He sent them to different locations in the earth. Uh, and this is proving the lies that Muslims, they say to us that Jesus, he was sent only to the Jews. It's not true even in their books. Because as you see, he sent them to all nations around in the world. And they, when they walk in the morning, they spoke different languages, depend in the location which Jesus would command them to go, as you see. And then here we go to the story of Paul. Uh, one of those who believed in Christ, believed in him from the people of Damascus, was a man called Dina. And he was hiding in a cave inside the eastern door 
close to the cruci crucified church for because of fear of Paul the Jew and he was unjust oppressive and he hated the Christ for he you know uh, uh, you know this is why he is coming to fight him supposedly he had shaved his nephew head when he believed in Christ and walked around in the country and then he stoned him until death may God have mercy on him who the one who Paul he stoned when Paul heard that the Christ is coming is Christ peace be upon him went to Damascus he prepared his mule to went and to kill him so he went to him to meet him you know the word plant here is wrong when he uh, confronted with the disciple of Christ an angel not a king an angel came to him and he struck his face with the edge of his wings and he made him blind when he saw that which mean Paul he believed in Christ a true belief and he come to him and apologize for what he had done or he had made and he believed in him so he was accepted by him which means the Messiah do you see it and then he asked the Messiah to wipe his eyes so the Messiah God would give him his sight so he said go you know anyway so like this is what happened as you see according to your stupid book the, the Paul was one of the disciples of Jesus for sure and not only that the Messiah he touched the eyes of Paul according to your Ibn Kathir uh, yeah I can give you a link no problem give me a second to make it in uh, uh, because this link have a uh, Arabic words Google will not allow it in that in the link uh, let me shorten the link for you all right <clears throat> yeah always guys save reference and make a note about it in your bookmark because the, this link is in Arabic as you know and then if you open it in the future uh, you will not even know what this link is about unless you have a note in your uh, in your bookmark all right here we go this is the link for what we just showed you hey, my friend can you explain about hell and Islam let us finish this topic I mean come on you guys have patience so do you see how Muslims they attack Paul they speak about Paul they spit at Paul but their books says a great things about Paul and this has shown us their stupidity and their arrogance and their and by the way this wave of like you know Paul 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 this is like copy paste from each other but nobody knows why he's attacking, attacking Paul nobody knows why he's attacking Paul actually Muhammad himself was copying from Paul many things in the Quran as an example if you go in the Quran Muhammad was trying to copy Paul where he said the gamblers the drunken they will not go to heaven Muhammad was trying to copy Paul and to prove that he is just a thief you'll find you know uh, there is a book it's called uh, a priest and a prophet I think there's a translation for it now in, in English you can download it and you will see endless numbers of verses from the Bible Muhammad is copying just to change the little words all right This is what Paul he said. Muhammad he copied it, he put it in his Quran. But then the stupid Muhammad he forgot that he just told them that gambling and drinking and alcohol is from shaitan. So how you promise them in the heaven of Allah the same what you promised them to be from shaitan? How you say to me that gambling and drinking those things are from shaitan? And then you say to me, okay, you will have them all in the heaven. right stupidity now I don't know if there's anything worth and I think the video there is almost done etc uh, etc Christian Prince Christian Prince 
think deeply what I wrote here. Yeah. Study the Bible seriously and you will find the real truth. Hmm. Inshallah. Thank you, you very much. You will find the real truth in the Bible, not in the Quran. Because if we go in the Quran, we will find that Muhammad cannot be a prophet for a second. For the Quran is full of stupid statements. As an example, the Quran, he claimed that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven. The Quran claimed that the earth is flat. The Quran do not even remember Allah. He don't remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees. Allah, he claimed that women have a sperm coming from their breast, which is true, by the way. I mean, I, I saw that, you know. I, I will tell you a real story now. Once I was sleeping, all right? And I'm scared from women, to be honest with you. That's why I'm still single. And I saw in my dream, and this is maybe, maybe, maybe this is the real reason behind me, I don't want to get married. I mean, this is really scary. Women are really scary. You think they have a breast? They don't have a breast. They have a breast testicles. If you go to chapter 86 and read the interpretation and you read the Quran, you will see the Muslims, they are following the steps of their prophet, Dr. Muhammad, Professor Muhammad, genius Muhammad, NASA Muhammad, who is expert in everything, in the space, in germs, everything. He says that women, they have a sperm and they are coming from the location of their necklace. Read carefully with me. The sperm, the gushing forth fluid, meaning a sexual fluid that comes, rust forth from the man and the women. And then he continue, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So now we knew that women, they have really sperm and they have testicles. Now, here it says the ribs of the women. This is a false translation because a taraib is not only the ribs of the women. It is the location of the necklace. You see, if you put, uh, I keep forgetting the word in English. Uh, if you put your finger down your neck where, where your, your neck meet and your chest, that is the taraib. You see what I'm talking about? That is the taraib. It's in the top, almost touching your neck. So according to the Quran, women, they have a sperm and it's coming from there in that location. I mean, how this is, can be God? From between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which referring to her chest. You see, even the Ibn Kathir translation, they say clearly referring to her chest. So women, they have gushing sexual fluid coming from the chest and coming from the top of the chest. This is God. And here he explained to you more. And if you show this to the Muslim, they will say, oh, no, no, it doesn't say that. Ibn Kathir is wrong. So Ibn Kathir is wonderful when they want. Ibn Kathir is bad when they want. They are the choose. What about their prophet? Their prophet himself, he said the same. Their prophet, he said, Dr. Muhammad, sorry, in this case now he's Dr. Muhammad, you know, he's, he knew everything, Muhammad. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be look like the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like the mother, which means he will be male or female, and they looked at, 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 at the same time. Because different hadith says, Adhkar, which means he became a boy, or Untha, if he became a female. So the Messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Which means Muhammad, he is making the water of the women in her private part during sexual intercourse, which is yellow and, and thin, which is weird, obviously she have an infection, equal to the thick white water of the man. And both water is the one make the baby. And this is about who is coming first. This is not about the women having an egg. It's about whoever of them comes first, as you see. So how this is can be from God? Can you tell me? Uh, okay, a Muslim saying to us the following. Let me show you what he said. Do you think that Ibn Kathir is Allah? or was a prophet or something he wrote that he he thought was right he was dead wrong okay hold on okay what about your prophet he was dead wrong here 
Here we go. Ibn Kathir is using your prophet statement to explain it. Read it carefully. And it's your Quran says, Bain as sulbi wa taraib. He explained it to us. He forget about Ibn Kathir. At taraib is a word used in Arabic for the top necklace place of the chest of the women. The bones, the, the backbone, according to the Quran, the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone, which is a stupid too. So, okay, forget about Ibn Kathir. You do, you do better. You do better, forget about Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is a stupid boy. You are the smart boy. Give us the answer. Huh? In a second, he will be mute. He will be dead. He will act dead. He, he don't, Ibn Kathir, he don't want, he cannot explain the verses for us, which is so clear that Allah is saying stupid things. Huh? Yeah, the collarbone, the collarbone. <laughs> I mean, you don't know what to do with this, Muhammadan. It doesn't matter. If you explain the Quran to them by yourself, they say we don't accept it. If you show them their scholars, they say we don't accept it. Which scholar you accept? Okay. <clears throat> do we have a Muslim when I call us? We will take maybe uh, two or uh, maybe two calls. I have things to do. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Please text me if you are a Muslim and I will call you. We have a Muslim saying to me, why you are always lying on Allah and his Quran? You know, I showed them the reference in the screen and they say I'm lying. You believe it? Where is the guy, the Muslim guy, when I call me? Where is the guy? <laughs> are you there? You are the Muslim guy? Okay, here we go. Let's call him. Hello? He hang up. Why you hang up? Oh, hold on. No, he maybe. Yeah, he hang up. Why you hang up? Let's call you again. Hello? 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 You gonna hang up on your daddy again? Uh, here we go. A little kid. Stupid. Just a stupid. Go. We want, we want real men. It's ringing, but I don't see the ring. Hold on. You know, this ultimate fault. He don't believe in anything except his own religion. Which means even the religion of Muslim Sunni, he don't believe in it. He believes his own, he's, he's, the, he's, he's the prophet, he's God. He knew. He don't even need to know Arabic, he said, to understand the Quran. So he gave you his own answers. Ultimate fort. Answer, I do. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. Yeah, you were talking about. Uh, what's what's talking about? Oh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the gospel writers. What? The gospel, the gospel writer. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me ask you: Who is the who is the gospel writer according to Islam? 
No, I'm I'm asking you, who who is Mark? Who was? If you read if you read the first was, page okay. if you if you read if you read in the first page of the book of uh, if you read in the first page of the book of John and Mark, you will see who is Mark. You are ignorant. Now I'm asking you. Okay, I will, I will go with you with your logic. Uh, it, just give me the question. If you do not know who is Mark, you should not accept who is Mark, right? Yeah. Okay, who is Muhammad? Go on, go on, go okay, on. Okay, who is Muhammad? Don't change the subject. I'm not to change the subject. Who is Muhammad? In the Quran, there is nowhere it says where Muhammad lived, who is the last name of Muhammad, don't, who is his father. Don't, 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 don't no, 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 I'm, I'm not changing okay. the subject. This is a subject. If you go and open the book of John, it says it clearly who is John. Just open the first page. I'm asking you now, who is Muhammad? Where where where, where is there is John? Where is there is John? It says it says what? Where does it say that is someone named John who writes? John is an English name, right? What what what? What? John is an John is an English name. No, it's not. What? <laughs> no, it's not. You know, it, if you pronounce a name. In a language which you have don't equal letters doesn't make it English names which mean as an example you as a Muslim you say Muhammad but doesn't mean that this wait, is an wait, English wait, name wait, 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 hold wait, on your your uh, prophet name your prophet name is Muhammad so you see the same problem here John his name had the letter ha okay in Arabic we say Yohanna in the Quran Muhammad name is Muhammad what you say in English you say Muhammad now, do you have a prophet? His name is Muhammad or Muhammad? You will say no, it's Muhammad. So, according to you, Muhammad name is not true, for it is Muhammad. Are you finished? Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Are you finished? You will go yeah, ahead. Seriously? Do you accept Muhammad or Muhammad? Which one is the English name and the Arabic name? Do you think Jesus knows? John, Matthew. Don't, 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 don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You are the no, one who no, opened the topic. Hey, 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 potato. Don't change the topic. You open. You, you make a question. You make a question. You make a question. Finish it. Do you accept Muhammad name in English or in Arabic? What's the title of, of, of your life? What's the title of your life? The title of what? What's the title of your live stream? The title of my live stream. This, I don't, I, this, 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 this live stream. Okay, uh, okay. What, what is the title? Tell me what is the title. Go ahead. I don't know. You, 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 you are a stupid. You are the one who called me and you are the one who asked me a question. When I answer you, you don't want to talk about it no more. Is it you who said to me that John, his name, this is English name? Is it you or me? Who mentioned that? <laughs> okay, so now I'm asking you, I'm asking you, who is Muhammad? You said to me, who is John? If you open John, from the beginning of the book, you will see John speaking about himself, who is he? Now I'm asking you, who is Muhammad? Where in the Quran we can find who is Muhammad? In the earliest manuscript. My friend, you are a potato. In the Quran, in the Quran, the name of Muhammad mentioned, in the Quran, the name of Muhammad mentioned four times. Nowhere it says, who is Muhammad? It says here. It says here, you Muhammad know, was not you know the, what, what's, what's the first complete manuscript. What, what? Do you know what's the, the, the complete manuscript? Uh, just go stupid. You know, you, you have no courage even to speak about it. So you, let me let me make it clear. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let, let, everybody, let everybody laugh at you. Let, let everybody laugh at you. You are saying, you are saying, you, you are trying to say, you are, try, you are trying, you are trying to say that the, the book of, the, no, no, I want everybody to witness. You are trying to say, Hold on. Listen. You are you, you are say, you are saying you are saying you are saying that the book of Allah is gone. Let's see the see is stupid. You are saying that the book of Allah is gone. Correct. Correct. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Who is who? Are you saying why you don't want to let me talk? Who is? Are you saying? Are you saying? Just say yes. Just say yes or no. Are you saying that the book of Allah? What, what I want you, to do? you, 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 know you see you are a coward you will not let me talk and you will not let me uh, answer you I'm asking you this is you as a stupid the stupid is the one who believe that women have testicles in their breast is you guys let us see let us see who is the stupid listen 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 everyone everyone will listen to you and listen to me who is the stupid the one who say that women they have testicles or me Answer. Ah, you're a 
Who is the one is a stupid, the one who says women because you are trying to convince me that the book of Allah, the book of Allah is corrupt. Thank you very much. You lost the debate before you start because you are saying to me that your God, Allah, is a stupid God. He sent the gospel to Isa and he don't have the gospel. Do your God have the gospel? There again, there again. Okay, so you are a kid. You will not answer. You are going to just shut up. You are a coward like your prophet, Hummus. Falafel. Coward son of Muta. In order to show somebody that his book is wrong, you have to bring the right book. You don't have that. In order to believe in what's right, what's wrong, you have to have the right to prove what is wrong. You don't have that. You got a guy whose name is Muhammad who do not, we do not know who is he. Who is Muhammad? You see the, 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 those liars, they say to you, who is John? Go to the book of John and see John speak about himself. Who is he? But if we go in the Quran, where we can find who is Muhammad? Nowhere. Who is Muhammad? If we go in the Quran and we search for Muhammad, we will find nothing about Muhammad. And Muhammad obviously cannot be his name. Because sometimes he called him Muhammad, sometimes he called him Ahmad. Sometimes he called him the Mustafa. Who is Muhammad? The Quran confirmed that Muhammad is nothing but a messenger. And indeed, all the messengers before him pass away. And this is a trade contradiction for the stupidity of Muhammad. Because all the messengers, they, they, you see here between, between two brackets, they say many messengers pass away. It doesn't say that in the Quran. It says all. All messengers before him, they pass away. That means Jesus, he passed away. That's me, Muhammad's story in the Quran about Jesus is a lie. So who is Muhammad? They don't know. Yes, uh, Fifi, how are you? Go ahead. Hello. Yes, Fifi, go ahead. Hello. Yes, uh, go ahead, Fifi. Here we go. Another smart person. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I have a question for you, so I want you to answer me. Okay, I will ask you right now. Okay, answer. Uh, okay, ask so, me right now. So, I, I was uh, watching one of your videos hmm. and uh, you told me that uh, that uh, like Kaaba is like uh, Kaaba is like uh, pagan origin. Uh, can you show me the proof? Can you show me the proof? Yeah, for, for sure. It's yes. very, very easy. Okay. If, if, we, if we go right now and we check, do you Muslims, and I think you are from India, don't you Muslims believe that Allah has sent Adam to India? Sri Lanka specifically? Yes. Okay. Yes. Isn't this where the Hindu is coming from? So why Adam is coming from Sri Lanka? What is the connection between Sri Lanka and Islam? And why Allah he land Adam in Sri Lanka? Did you think Allah he land Adam? Do you think do you think Allah do you think Allah he land Adam in the wrong place? Or it was a chosen place by Allah? Uh, this is not my question. This is not your question. I'm going, we are coming in the question. Here we go. So the first thing, Adam was an Indian guy from Sri Lanka. That is the root of Islam based on this. Secondly, the black stone in the Kaaba, which your prophet, he said, that if you touch it, that will erase your sin. Is that the same stone the Hindus, they have, which is a sexual stone? Not, not every uh, black stone is uh, the same, you know. No, that it's is, no, it is the same. Here we go. Is, okay, yeah, yeah, let yeah, me yeah. ask you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Was the Arab used to go around the Kaaba totally naked? What was the Arab used to go around the Kaaba totally naked? Uh, where, 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 uh, where did you get this from? Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim in the front of you. It says narrated, narrated, narrated that the Arab they used to go around the Kaaba, circumnavigate around the Kaaba naked. Do you see it? Okay. That, so wh what is the religion? What is the religion was a practice there where people, they go, women and men, they go around the Kaaba naked. And why they are naked? Give me the link. Here we go. I will post the link for you. Here we go. Let me post the link. And this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih authentic. You cannot say it is weak. So now I'm, I'm, I, I need your help. What was the religion practice at that time where people go around the Kaaba naked? What do you think? Why they are naked? I, I don't know. 
we didn't receive the link wait okay wait, the wait, link wait. is in the in the chat so is this sai or uh... no this is uh, this is the if no no sorry i am c uh, huh? uh, i only uh, no, I don't accept the uh, Daif one. Hey, so but, they know that. Okay, you don't accept the Daif. Okay, we don't. Okay, okay, here yeah. we go. He don't accept the Daif, guys. No, he is. This is not Daif. This is Sahih. I was joking with you. This is Sahih Muslim. I mean, the book name is Sahih Muslim, and you say to me, is it Daif? The name of the book is Sahih Muslim. See, uh, on the website, you can uh, have anything. For no, 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 don't, you know, don't, that, don't that do the same as the one before you. He have a big mouth, but he have nothing to say. He keep calling him stupid, but he cannot say anything because he is a fool. He do not know what he's talking about. So what is the religion they were practicing going around the Kaaba of Allah naked? And where was Allah all hundreds of years and people going around his house naked? Where, what, what, what Allah was doing? Wait, wait, the link is opening, right? Hmm. So uh, how 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 do you found out that uh, this like uh, you know from pagan origin? Well, it's uh, it's front of you. Okay, you tell me. This is the, this is a practice of the Kaaba before Islam, right? Okay. So who are those people who go naked around the Kaaba? What is the practice there? This is before Muhammad. Okay. So they are going. By the way, this is after Muhammad too. Muhammad, he was enjoying watching women going around the Kaaba naked. This is why one of them, she went naked and he liked her private part. So he said he wanted to marry her and then she did not marry him. Showing her vagina and she was singing. According to your tafsir, does it say in the tafsir that the black stone became a black because of the blood of the blood of women? Hello? Yeah. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Does it say in the tafsir that the black stone became a no, black became wait, a black became a wait, black wait. because of the blood of women? Okay, so uh -huh. you know the I I'm trying to open the link but uh, there is something wrong. It is not open. Over everybody can open the link. Guys, is the link is open? The link I post for you? It's working, everybody. Come on. Uh, look look what okay, Muslim so, uh, look what Muslim proper he said, Abbas. He said Islam he came to correct where where, where is the correction? Show me one verse in the Quran says don't go around the cabinet. Guys Islam oh, came to correct. If I lose, if I lose, just you are a kid. Just go, man. I don't have time for kids. By the by, the time you 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 read the hadith, I will be sleeping and having ten kids. A bunch of kids. Can't we find an adult? Abbas, can you show me the verse in the Quran that says, "Don't go naked around the Kaaba." As long as Islam came to correct, where we can find that verse? I mean, how horrible it is that Allah did not mention for a second to Muhammad. Tell those people to stop going naked around the Kaaba. All those years Muhammad was living in Mecca, he never said that. All those years he was in the other town, Allah did not give him the verses. Why? Allah did not see people going naked? Allah have time to tell us the story of Alexander the Great. Have the time to tell us about the flying carpet of Suleiman. Have the time to tell us about the ant speaking and uh, Suleiman hearing the the, the the speech of the, the ant, which is very funny and stupid because ants don't talk and they are deaf. But he have no time to tell Muhammad a verse in the Quran. Tell them to stop going naked around my house. Huh? Islam is a pagan religion for sure and the interpretation even confirm that Muslim women uh, 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 Muslim women are the same as the pagan you know pagan are Muslim uh, pagan are Muslim and Muslim are pagan you see let me show you something here if we go and read as an example this verse
Chapter 2, verse number 158. Chapter 2, verse 158. Inna safa wal marwa min sha'air Allah. Translation. The safa and al marwa from the ritual of Allah, the symbolic of Allah. Okay, what? How? How this happened? Let us go and read the interpretation, shall we? If we go and see the interpretation, you will see right away that this is nothing but pagan practice happened in the time of Muhammad, and Muhammad is nothing but pagan person. So let us go here. Your connection is not what? Not private? It says my connection not private. I don't know why I cannot open the website. It says my connection at private. This is Feroz. The kid Feroz is calling again. I don't know why. Let us try again. What connection at private? Look what it says for me. Your connection at private. I'm trying to open tafsir at tafsir.com. Your connection not private. Okay, let us go to different tafsir. Uh, first of all, my friend, your prophet command came too late because at this is at the end of his life he was dying. Where was Muhammad to command this command when he was healthy and before he died all those years he never mentioned no go, go and naked around the Kaaba even once in one speech uh, let me let me go to the tafsir hold on give me a second this is uh, the, the Jordanian website is not working 2158 all right let us go to Ibn Kathir and this is the English version of Ibn Kathir which is far away from the truth but you will notice here that the Muslims in the time of Muhammad they were complaining that we should not practice as Safa and Marwa. Why? For this is the shrine of the pagan. So what Allah said to them, He said, By Allah, it is not a sin if someone did not perform tawaf around them. Okay. Let's read more. Allah said to the Muslims, As Safa and Al Marwa are the symbol of Allah. Okay, why? So it is not sin for him who perform Hajj or, or Umrah around them. You know, what, what does that mean? Why Muslims, they thought it is sin? Let us read. Uh, okay. It seemed that this verse was revealed concerning two groups of uh, uh, groups. And those are is about Al-Ansar. Let us see if he will say that too. Uh, Sabi said, Isaf was an idol and on uh, as Safa, and Naila was an idol on Al Marwa. So there's two idols, one in As Safa, the Safa is little hill, and Al Marwa is little tiny hill too. And between those two, in, in, or, on those hills, they put one idol for a man and one idol for a woman. Supposedly, those two they have sexual intercourse inside the Kaaba. They used to touch or kiss them. After Islam came, they were hesitate and performing tawaf between them. So you see, they used to kiss them before Islam. And they used to touch them before Islam. And now Islam confirming that this is from Allah. Do you see it? It was a place of idols. One idol for a woman and one idol for a, woman, a man. The man... Is naked the women is naked because simply those about idols who they had sex in the Kaaba and they used to go and touch them and kiss them who the Arab before Islam the Arab after Islam they were hesitating should we do that because this is what we used to do before Muhammad he said yes this is from the ritual of Allah why because there's a group of Al-Ansar they will not tolerate anyone to stop them this is their belief so Muhammad, because he is a hypocrite, he compromised. He said, okay, touch as Safa and Marwa. It is a symbolic from Allah. 
Do you see it? This is what as Safa and Marwa is. So Muhammad, this is why the verse, uh, did you ask yourself why the verse says it's not sin to do it? Why they thought it's sin? Because it is a pagan practice. And why Allah, he need this Safa and Marwa? You have the, you have the Kaaba already, the house of Allah supposedly. What's Safa and Marwa for? But because there's a group of people, you see, I'm trying to open the other page uh, for this uh, Jordanian website. But it's not working. I don't know why, you know. Let me see if there is a solution for this. Give me a second. Advanced. What is advanced is? Ah, this is my security. This is from my security. It was not allowing me. Okay. Now we knew why. Hold on. All right. Okay, chapter 2, 158. I know it's open. I will wait for your screen in a second. Give me a second, please. Here we go. Guys, read really carefully. This is Tafsir Ajalalain, not Tafsir Christian Prince. It says what? That it's, it says that the pagan Arab, read carefully. This verse was revealed when the Muslim wear a verse, this circumlation, because the pagan Arab used to circumlate them. And there was an idol in the top of each mountain. They used to stroke. It is reported from Ibn Abbas. See, this is a practice of the pagan. Why Muhammad? What Muhammad have to do with it? How this is became from the ritual of Allah? If you go to Ibn Abbas, let us see Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. You will see clearly that this is... Okay, you know what? Let us go to the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. The reason for the verse to come down. It's even easier to, to understand. You will see here that the one who requested this was Al-Ansar. Al-Ansar, who they are pagan Arab, who they worship as Safa and Al Marwa. They refuse any command not to do practice this. And Muhammad, he cannot risk it and lose Al Ansar. Ansar, which means the helpers. So this was revealed about a group of people from the helpers before Islam. Do you see it? Those are helpers, the Ansar. They are the one who practice this religion. They used to make a, a privilege to go around the Manat. And they were forbidden to go between and as Safa and Marwa. So when when they join Islam, they want to do that too. They will not stop. They don't care. Muhammad he agree. He don't agree. They will not stop. So Muhammad, the filthy coward prophet, he compromised because he will not accept to lose them. He need them in his war. So he said, okay. As Safa and Al Marwa, it was from the shrine from all of Allah, so practice it and there is no sin of it. Do you see it? Islam is very pure uh, pagan religion. If we go in the hadith, you will see that the Muslim confirm that Muhammad was a pagan person. Why? He is the one who was one of those who carried the black stone. The Muslim, they report a story that even Muhammad, when he was young, he was carrying the holy stone of the pagan Arab. So the hadith says, let us see. We used to worship stones. And I want you to focus on me carefully here. And this is Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 4376. We used to worship stone, stones and we use, look, look, we used to worship stones. And when we found a better stone, let me make the text bigger a little bit so you guys can read it better. Okay. Uh, we would throw the first one and take the later. See, always they look for better stone. 
But if we could not get a stone, we used to collect some earth, i.e. soil, and then bring a sheep milk and sheep it over it. And like milk it over it. And perform tawaf. Do you see the word tawaf? Do you see the word tawaf? Around it. Do you see it? So the Muslims are pagan. The same as the pagan Arab before them. Everything the Arab used to do, they carry on. The Arab used to worship stones, kiss stones, lick stones, put their hand in their vagina and put it inside the black stone. Muhammad, he carry on. They used to go naked. Until now, the Muslim, by the way, they are naked. If you go right now, if we search, let me show you. If we show you how Muslim they dress when they go to Hajj. It's a nakedness clothing presenting the Hindus. Exactly the same as the Hindus. And the same as the Buddhas. Let me show you. They are totally naked in the Kaaba, literally. Look at this. You think that those people they just came from the shower. How this is can be a clothes to meet your God with? Do you see it? They put a sheet around themselves. And they show the right shoulder have to be open or with the same exactly as the Hindu and as the Buddha priest. And this is where their clothes is coming from. And not only that, they shave their head when they go to do Hajj. You can go right now and search for Hindu uh, and Buddha priest and you will see how they dress. Let us do that. Hold on. Give me a second. Now, I am not an expert in the uh, Hindu religion. Uh, but you do not need to be a genius. Exactly the same. And the color can change depending on the location. Do you see it? They show the right shoulder. It's just a sheet. They shave their head. And this is what Muhammad and his followers they practice around the Kaaba. The Hindu they have a black stone, Shiva stone. The Muslim they have the black stone, which is a holy stone present the vagina. Right? Uh, yeah, see in saying, my Bible have some uh, uh, polytheist legion like Allah. Well, that's, that's your statement. Prove it. So we can laugh at you. Any Muslim have a comment? Muhammad, in the beginning of his life, he was trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. This is why all his life, when he was a prophet, most of it, he was praying in the direction to Jerusalem. 
the one who is behind going back to the roots as pagan is Umar ibn al-Khattab. Who is the one who decide where to pray for? It was Umar. Which is raise a question about who is Allah? Allah is Umar. My Lord conquered with my, with my judgment on three occasions in the case of the station of Abraham, in the case of observe a veil, and in the case of a prisoner of Badr. By the way, there's some hadith says ten things, this hadith says seven things, five things. So each one of them he give you a different thing. Who is the one who came with uh, uh, the Kaaba to be the station of Allah again? It was Omar. Islam is made by Umar, not by Muhammad. As you see in the front of your eyes. Actually, even Muhammad, he says, if there is a prophet to be after me, it will be Umar. <laughs> he said that. Because Umar, he got him busted. He is stealing what Umar say. He put it in the Quran. The hijab is from Umar. The, 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 the Kaaba is from Umar. The change of the wives of Muhammad from Omar. Omar is the caliphate, the companion of Muhammad. Islam is a pure pagan. You know, when Muhammad is say, if you touch the black stone, that will erase your sin. How that can be not a pagan? Any Muslim want to explain to us? How this is not a pagan practice? Touching black stones and the Yemeni corner erase your sin. Uh, Farouz saying, look, Farouz is supposed to be smart. He's saying, are you saying that the, the Indian, they were in the, the Hindus, they were in the Arabian Peninsula during the time of Muhammad? Uh, you know, Farouz, sometimes uh, stupidity is a, is a blessing, honestly, because it makes you feel comfortable. Uh, you just you are the one who called me and you agreed that Adam came from Sri Lanka correct that's mean yes according to, obviously there was Indian coming to the Arabian Peninsula and actually if you look at the map India is just a few kilometers away from Saudi Arabia the, 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 the sea between them is just a few hours in the ship What, but what make it funny that uh, Adam is coming from Sri Lanka, which is the statement of your funny prophet. Not only stupid is proven to us the roots of Islam, but if we look at it, let us love together. Sri Lanka. Okay. This is Sri Lanka. How Adam was able to cross because he is not in India. He is in Sri Lanka, which is part of India, yes. But, I mean, now it's a different country. But it is not really connected to India. There is a sea between them. So how Allah, he sent this man, Adam, to Sri Lanka. And then this man, Adam, he was able to go all the way to Mecca. Maybe Adam was a, a champion of swimming and he was able to cross from Sri Lanka to the land. And not only that, every year, uh, according to, uh, to Muhammad, uh, Adam, he did, he did uh, practice Hajj 40 times during his lifetime. So we do not know how many years. Supposedly, according to Muslim, he lived more than, he did live more than a thousand years. So if you say uh, in a thousand years, he did Hajj 40 times, uh, that will be, let us see. We use the calculator, 1,000 divided to 40. He, this is every 25 years. Every 25 years, Adam, he have to swim from Sri Lanka all the way to India, and then he have to go all the way to Mecca, and then he go back to Sri Lanka. I'm not going to ask you how Adam was able to find Mecca without GPS. 
without map i'm not going to ask you how he crossed the sea i'm going to ask you why he allah he made him land in sri lanka and by the way adam was landed in sri lanka but anyone knows where eve was landed who, who knows where eve, eve uh, uh, landed anyone remember just to show you the stupidity of this cult all of it is fiction stories collected from here and there uh, Eve, according to some Islamic stories, she landed in Yemen. Adam was landed in Sri Lanka. Okay, how they met again? I am guessing that Adam, he sent the WhatsApp message to Eve. Hey, what's up? Where are you now? And then Eve, she sent him her location or maybe Viber. And this is how they were able to find each other again. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? I am thinking in that time, maybe there was Facebook and been destroyed by the flood of Noah. Maybe you never know. Destroyed. Now that we don't have it no more. Because how Adam and Eve, they met together again. Very tough question, brother. Extremely hard to answer, you know? Yeah. Adam was what? So he could... Guys, guys, look look at the answer of Farouz. Look, look. This is a Muslim. He squeezed his head so hard and he come with the answer. Adam was a giant. <laughs> so he could swim through long distance in water. Uh, Abdul, you are, you are really stupid. Uh, if he is giant or small, that will not change how his ability to swim. Because if you are giant, it's going to take you the same effort to carry your body. Because now you have a giant body. So your size will not actually... Uh, uh, the, the bigger the size of your body, the harder it will be for you. Stupid. I mean, look at this answer. He was giant, so he can swim. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right, guys. I think we have we have good time for today. Uh, until now, the internet hope is going to stay fine for later broadcast. So better free to share it with your friends. And for sure, the video became long about this guy answering the guy. You can cut it off pieces. And always, when you download videos, try to change the title unless there is a purpose of keeping the same title. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you and uh, protect you from all lies and all evil like Muhammad, a person who was a sex offender. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care.